What's up, everybody? Fortnite's Rex season is almost over, so let's rank all the weapons for zero build. I know it seemed like this was a meta loadout this season, but some of us actually did use guns. So let's figure out the best, the worst, and everything in between. Let's get into it. All right, as usual, I will be using my patented one to four Jonesy ranking scale. First up is the Gatekeeper Shotgun. I'm definitely ranking this at three Jonesies because of the inherent mag size. You can get away with that in solos, but on larger team sizes, especially squads, that's an issue. The mobility this season makes it too easy to third party. What about the Mythic Gatekeeper Shotgun? I would give it four Jonesies, five mag size, not as many players fighting for it off rip this season. You can't go wrong with it in your zero bill loadout. It is also one half of the biggest debate of this season, Gatekeeper or Hammer Pump. Don't click away, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's Gatekeeper versus Combat Shotgun. Even the best zero bill players in the game are split on this. Evolve Jake says run Gatekeeper, Prospering says run Combat Shotgun, and neither one is wrong because of their own playstyles. Next is the Heavy Impact Sniper, giving this one a three Jonesy. Nice versus cars, but the bullet drop off is pretty crazy. If it didn't have the ability to one shot, I would have ranked it two Jonesies. In this meta, we need a sniper as much as we needed a cardboard box on Underground. The Combat AR returned after being gone for almost a year, and of course it's moddable now. I want to give it two and a half Jonesies, but I don't have that one, so it's three. In other seasons with better AR choices, it would probably be a two. Also doesn't help that it really needs the mods. The Mythic Combat AR is hands down a four Jonesy rating. Best assault rifle in the pool, and of course no waiting for a vault to open to mod it. But like the non-Mythic version, I don't think this is a four historically, like across the entire Fortnite pool ever. It needs a muzzle break mod, I think, to get in that ballpark. Huntress DMR is two Jonesies for me. It's a DMR, of course, and those weapon types have always been mid versions of sniper rifles in zero build. That combo with the recoil and the fire rate does not really mesh together. I don't know what it is about it, it just doesn't work. Flint Knock Pistol is next, and I'm giving it two Jonesies. I know, I know it's a classic, but it is just not good enough for zero build. I would have given it a one, but the meme potential bumps it to two. Boom Bolt is hands down a two Jonesies, 100% cheese item, and somebody's gonna be running it in a match, guaranteed. Plus, Rocket Hammo is harder to find. The mythic version of the Boom Bolt is a three Jonesy, I guess. Solid mods, and if you acquire it, you probably have the unlimited ammo medal as well. Definitely better than the non-mythic. Uh, Oscar's Mythic Frenzy Auto Shotgun is a solid three Jonesies. Probably one of the easiest mythics to acquire this season, and it's only outshined by the mythic versions of the Combat and Geekkeeper shotguns. Although as the season has progressed, Classy Quartz has become a hotter drop spot in all team sizes. Like even when the mythic car is nearby and there's no drones there. And it's not like players are dropping for that mythic either. Most teams and players don't bother with it. It's kind of weird. Let me know in the comments if you have any theories on why that is. Combat Shotgun is up next, and I'm giving it three Jonesies. Its higher damage at longer ranges makes the Combat Shotty a nice counter to the Magneto Glove spammers. Large mag size, and it's pretty easy to find a blue and higher rarity, so that's nice. What about the uh, Mythic Combat Shotgun? Hands down, four Jonesy. It will win a lot of fights. The only shotgun that'll beat it is Cerberus's Gatekeeper. Uh, Hammer Pump Shotgun is a one Jonesy, and I have no idea why it's even in the loop pool. It's not even viable in build. That's sad to say about a pump, the staple of Fortnite weapons. And the saddest thing, it looks like the classic pump, but it hits like a makeshift. And the easiest weapon to rank is up next, the Thunderburst SMG. We all know where that one's going, right? Four Jonesies. It's pretty easy to find one with the laser early game, so it's not as bench dependent as a combat AR is, for example. And of course, it has really good damage at range. One downside is forgetting not to ADS with it and negating the laser's advantage. Alas, poor Yorick. The Warforged AR got vaulted less than a month into the wreck season to make room for the combat assault rifle. You could get it from eliminating certain NPCs for another month, by the way. And I think compared to the others of its type, the Warforged comes in at the same place as the uh, Combat AR. Barely three Jonesies due to it needing mods. We have seen better in zero build in the past, that is for sure. The Tactical AR is two Jonesies. It got a damage buff this season, but it's still not quite there. And of course it uses small ammo, so you can't really run it as your assault rifle if you're also running an SMG or pistol too, which sucks too because a purple or gold with the red eye, the recoil mod, maybe drum for the 40 mag size is pretty nasty. I would use it if it ran medium ammo. You all in the community poll would not use it, but the results still were pretty close. After using it for some time, I am putting the tri-beam laser at two Jonesies. I have to be honest here, I was all over the tri-beam laser when it first dropped. I mean, how could you not be, right? It's the only hit scan weapon in a projectile loop pool, and the damage drop-off is minuscule. 
Back then, I probably would have given it three Jonesies off rip, but I noticed something switching back and forth between reload and regular BR. Kind of a pain in the butt to switch from hit scan to projectile and back again on the fly. Just keep going back and forth. No bueno. It's not like a sniper where it's the only projectile gun in your inventory and it's a single shot. I think it's different when it's the assault rifle. The Deagle is up next. Given that one two Jonesies, it's fun to fire and all, feels pretty powerful, but it's just too slow and tougher to use as a projectile weapon in zero build. I feel like the game has passed by guns like the hand cannon. And I do not think the Mythic Deagle is any better. That one also ranks at two Jonesies. Sure, it's got more pop, but by the time you get it off of Loot Island, the game is probably down to like 10 players and pubs. It's just not good enough for Fist and Cars and games. Enforcer AR is a two Jonesy at best for this season. I think it's a two overall versus any AR ever. It got two damage buffs and two crit damage buffs, and it's still mad. Funny thing is, I'm glad it looks like a Huntress DMR because it makes looting a lot easier. <laughs> uh, as much as I love the Ranger pistol and think it should be a three Jonesy, the reality is this season it's more like a two because it's super hard to find purple and gold rarities. Those higher levels are what makes the pistol shine in zero build. And when you throw the mods on it, the Ranger is pretty nasty. And of course it competes with the Thunder Burst and it's 100% accuracy potential. Wrapping up the list is the Harbinger SMG. I'm giving it two Jonesies. I know a lot of players swear by the Harbinger in zero build, but I just don't see what the hype is about. The damage isn't that great, the reload's kind of slow for a machine gun, and like the Ranger, it struggles to compete with the Thunder. So there we go, peeps, my Rex season rankings for Zero Build. What do you agree or disagree with? Drop those opinions in the comments. Have a good one, everybody. Don't forget to like. Next video coming right up.